Yo, what is up boys and girls? Today I'm bringing you a video explaining how sensitivity in Fortnite works and how you can adjust it like I do to find the perfect sensitivity. I'm also going to explain uh, how the multipliers work because a lot of people were confused in my last video. So this video is going to show you how to adjust your shotgun aim while being able to maintain all your other sensitivities. Because what a lot of people don't realize is when you adjust your X and Y sensitivity, all your other sensitivities also change even though you don't actually change them because of the way they work. But first, for any of you guys that are new to my channel, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, proof that my aim is pretty good so you guys know that uh, you can follow my advice when it comes to sensitivity. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro, what was that? Fucking straight aim bar, bro. Bro, I'm playing with So as you guys can see, my oh, AR aim is insane. Like, that shit is on point. And it's so important that anytime I mess with my sensitivity, my X and my Y, that the uh, that the AR aim stays exactly the same because that's the perfect sensitivity for me. I spent forever finding it, and it's never gonna change. That's always gonna be the sensitivity I need it to be. Oh my god! All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go down the sensitivities and uh, explain what each one does. I'm gonna skip mouse sensitivity because it's the same as controller, just for mouse. So controller sensitivity X is how fast your character moves left and right like uh, the X line on a graph. Controller sensitivity Y is how fast your character moves up and down the Y line on a graph. Controller targeting sensitivity is how fast your sensitivity is when you're aiming down sight. So your sensitivity is a lot slower when you're aimed in than when you're not aimed in. Otherwise it would be really hard to aim uh, accurately. Controller scope sensitivity is uh, your sniper scope sensitivity and then controller building sensitivity is your building sensitivity Obviously how fast your character moves when you have your builds out and uh, edit mode sensitivity is How fast your character moves when you're in edit mode like this the way these sensitivities work is that they're multiplied by your ten your base sensitivity and that's how you get the actual sensitivity you can't actually set your own value for the targeting or scope or building sensitivity so I've made this spreadsheet that you plug in your sensitivities. So what this spreadsheet does, it takes your, your sensitivity and it multiplies it by the X. Okay, so your controller targeting sensitivity, whatever you put in here is going to get multiplied by the X and it's going to give you what your true targeting sensitivity is. So to say controller target sensitivity had its own slider and it wasn't a multiplier like it is right now, this is what you would put in there to get the exact same sensitivity that you're getting right now. Probably did not make it as complicated, Epic just decided to go with the multiplier. So the reason this is important, the point of this video is to be able to change your sensitivity for your shotgun name and your shotgun name is your controller sensitivity X and Y because um, most shotgun shots are made without aiming down sight or at least you don't aim down sight until the very last moment once you're already on target say from 0 0.800 I want to bring it down to 0 0.750 just to test it to see if it's uh, if I'm gonna like that sensitivity you plug in 0 0.750 and what the spreadsheet will do is calculate your new sensitivities so that you can have the exact same targeting sensitivity but then be able to stay on the new X. And then uh, the Y, like I said, it doesn't matter. You can lower that too, but the spreadsheet only reflects off of your X. So what I recommend is you always move your X and Y the exact same amount. So since I went from 800 to 750, I would go from 660 to 0.610 because uh, it's 0.5 less. Now that I put in my new X, the spreadsheet is telling me that I need to plug in into my targeting sensitivity. I need to make it 0.511. My scope needs to be 0.993. My controller building sensitivity needs to be 2.1. So unfortunately, Epic caps it at 2.0. So that means if my sensitivity is this low, I actually it's actually impossible for me to have the old building sensitivity. So that's one thing that really sucks right now. On this sensitivity that I'm on, my edit mode is not fast enough. So I have to sacrifice my good edits. To be able to have good aim because it caps out at 2.00 the only way for me to have faster edit would be for me to put this up but if when i put it up my uh, my shotgun aim isn't as good so now i'm going to go ahead and clear the spreadsheet again and pretend that we're a brand new player to fortnite okay so all our sensitivities are reset right so uh mouse i always leave it at one one so let's pretend we're a we're a controller player that plays on 8 8 sensitivity Okay, you play on 8-8 sensitivity, you play on 0 0.600 targeting, your scope sensitivity is like 0 0.800, controller building is 1.675, and your edit is 1.7. You know, these are just made up numbers that I'm making up. 
So we're gonna go back to the spreadsheet, type them in, right? So again, on the right side, the true sensitivity, if uh, if the game had its own slider for these sensitivities and not a multiplier, these are the numbers you would use. The only reason I included this is so that when you change it down here, you need to make sure that these is matching up with this. If these two match up, then you know that they're exactly the same sensitivity and it's working right. So say from 800, 800, you feel your shotgun aim is too slow and you wanna bring it up to 0 0.850, 0 0.850. So you feel your shotgun aim is too slow, but your your AR aim is perfect. When you're aiming down sight, when you snipe at people, your aim is perfect. Your building, your editing feels perfect. All that feels weird is your shotgun aim. That's the whole point of this sheet, is so that you can change your shotgun aim, your X and Y, and then these will change accordingly so that you can keep the exact same sensitivity. So it's telling me that if you go from 0 0.800 to 0 0.850, then you need to change your controller target sensitivity from 0 0.600 to 0.565. So these new sensitivities, the only thing that has changed is the X and Y. Even though these changed, it will be exactly the same as it was before. And since you're already used to it, nothing will feel different except these two. So this sensitivity again is the one that when you're, when you're not aiming and you're moving like this, that's all that sensitivity controls. But once you aim back in, this will be exactly the same as it was before. Now say you want to change your sensitivity, these sensitivities. These you can change them as much as you want because they're independent of each other. They won't affect anything else. Once you feel you found the perfect sensitivity, you'll always be able to have it no matter what you set this to because uh, this sheet will calculate it for you. And all this sheet is doing guys is multiplying it. It's very simple. All you need to do is, is multiplying this number times this number and giving you this number. And then it multiplies this times this and it gives you this and so on and so if you don't want to use a sheet you could easily figure it out yourself but it's just a little bit more complicated once you put in your new sensitivity 0 0.850 it figures out what you need to change this to for this number to be the same as this number and it does this by dividing your true target sensitivity by your new controller sensitivity so say you want to do this without my sheet and you want to do it by yourself because you don't want to download it or whatever reason first you multiply x by controller target sensitivity. That'll get you your true target sensitivity, right? Multiply B7 by B4, gets you that. Then you change your sensitivity to whatever you want it to be. So in this case, 850. And now to figure out what your new target sensitivity needs to be, you're gonna divide the true target sensitivity that you already have figured out by your new controller sensitivity. And that'll get you a new controller sensitivity that it's going to equal the exact same thing as the first one you found for true target sensitivity. So the main, the biggest point, the biggest part of the formula is divide your true target sensitivity by new controller sensitivity. And that's how you figure out your new controller target sensitivity. And you do the same thing for each one of these. You divide your true sense by the new one that you uh, made. And to get the true one, you multiply that by that super simple just make sure you use a paper and pen and uh, and then at the end to check your work all you need to do is make sure this one and this one are exactly the same so when you multiply these two you get the same answer as when you multiply these two because that's what you want you want your sensitivity to be the same right because all you want to change is the X and the Y but your targeting sensitivity was already good so you don't want to mess with that so it adjusts it for you if you leave it at 0 0.600 and you change this one this one will also change. So every time you change this one, you need to adjust this for it to be the same as it was before. And that's what this sheet will do for you. When I change this from 800 to 850, it adjusted this to this. It did it for all of them, all four of them. So if you guys want to use this sheet, I'll put a link in the description and uh, you can download it yourself and then go into Google Sheets. And I think you just go to File, Import, and then uh, you're going to go to upload, select the file, and then after you've downloaded this one, obviously, you'll select it and it'll let you edit it so you can put in your own numbers and uh, figure out your own sensitivity if you want to change it. So hopefully this video doesn't turn out too long. I know it seems kind of complicated, but like I said, it's super simple. You just got to mess with the sheet a little bit and eventually you'll understand uh, what changing the sensitivities is doing to your to your character aim and your aiming down sight and your sniper scopes aim and your building and your editing. But uh, yeah, if this was helpful, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you let me know down below what you want to see more of. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.